Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. To do a new vlog, this one is gonna be kind of a little bit wedding-y, um, which is super exciting. I've just noticed these, these are out, I took them out because I was just doing some um, branded stuff, um, some brand content, but I got Invisalign um, two days ago, so that's been pretty hectic because, God, it's not fun. The first few days, it's like so tight on your mouth. And, it like pushes your lips out so much. Literally, I'm I'm like walking around with a permanent trap out and I talk weirdly. So that's fun. Um, and I've got this for the next nine months. So yeah, I'm excited though, because as you can see, my bottom teeth are quite crooked. I went to Mauritius. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. Um, and I didn't vlog out there just purely because I just completely wanted to switch off and I literally just lay and sunbathed all day and listened to podcasts and didn't wear any makeup all trip which was six days and it was so nice um and yeah that would have been really boring to vlog so i didn't bother doing that um but i've got some exciting things happening that i want to share with you guys i have got my bridesmaids brunch which i'm so excited about um and it's basically i've invited all the girls that i'm going to make bridesmaids there's eight of them i don't know why i put my hand up for five there's eight which is quite a lot but i just couldn't choose so i was like why not just have them all rather than making these really difficult decisions and potentially upsetting people. So yeah, I've got eight girls and I've invited them all to brunch on Saturday. I think a lot of them think I'm just going for brunch with them, like it's just me and them. Um, so they're gonna get a shock when they arrive at the restaurant and there's a table of eight. But yeah, I'm very excited and I've made these little cute bags for them, which I'm gonna show you now, um, to ask them to be my bridesmaids. So these, actually one of my friends, Steph, can't make it because she is away on a shoot. You guys find this, but a day that works for everyone. Like, I've had to change it like four times because someone can't make it or this person can't do this. And everyone gets so booked up, especially this time of year. So to find a date that seven of them can make it out of eight, I was like, oh, thank the Lord. So these are little bags that I'm gonna be giving them on the day. And inside I've got, well, I've got a little bottle of Prosecco. I, and then I've got them, these little, pouches from Gigi and Olive which is an amazing brand I use actually for Lucy's Hendu I got quite a few bits from there um and I'm not gonna unwrap them because they're just so pretty but inside is like a little handkerchief that says no ugly tears or no ugly crying I can't remember which and it's got their initials on and then they've also got one of these little bracelets which is from it's from Eden Moon who I also used for Lucy's Hendu and I absolutely love them. So, oh, this is actually Lucy's bag. So this one says Maid of Honor on it. And then the other girls have got ones that say Bridesmaid and I've got one that says Bride. So they're very cute. I love the brand and the girl. It's like a little small business and the girl is so lovely. I got these cards off Etsy. I've actually already written and stuck them down, but I will insert something because I filmed a little bit while I was writing them of what they look like. They're so cute. Just writing all my little bridesmaid cards ahead of the brunch and they're so pretty you personalize them with like the hair color the gown for the girl what they're going to be holding so like my friend lily i put a little margarita glass because she loves margaritas so yeah just writing all the little notes now and lastly they get a little pouch from katie loxton which is another brand i love for like hendu and bride stuff this one says made of honor it's got her initials and all the other girls have ones that say bridesmaid on. I'm going wedding dress shopping in a few days as well, which I'm definitely going to take you guys along for. Um, I don't know how much of that I'll be allowed to film because I've been to wedding dress shops before with like friends and they've been like no photos or anything, but hopefully I'll be able to film a little bit. I'm going to Love's Lace showroom. Um, I'm taking my mum, my sister, Cameron's sister Grace and Cameron's mum. And then we're gonna go for lunch at Pachamama and then we are gonna go to Suzanne Neville. So that is really exciting. Um, I didn't realize how long it takes for wedding dresses to be like organized, like six months or something. Which, and I literally have zero, zero, zero idea of what kind of dress I want. Like, I have no idea. I know that I want probably something tight and quite simple, but I could go in there and end up with like a ball gown. I just don't know. So I'm the most indecisive person ever. That's why I've got like all these women with me. Lucy's really decisive, so I can have their opinions and help them, and they can help me make a decision because I just know that otherwise I'll be like, end up with like five. So yeah, those are my updates and 
Miss Kiki's over here. What is that? Your dirty tail. Why is your tail so dirty? Huh? Took her for a nice long walk this morning. Didn't we? Wait, why is there a special story? <laughs> 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 Best oh, gift I could ever have been given. Honestly. Give me an example. I haven't mentioned this in the vlog yet, but me and my friend Nicola have started a podcast called What We Don't Post. So that launched this week. Definitely check that out. I'll link it below. But yeah, that's super exciting and so fun actually. We just did it to have a little bit of fun. Um, and it's just like having a catch up with your best friend and letting people listen to it. So we've recorded the second episode yesterday. We've got the people installing our wardrobes this week. They've been here every single day. It's been quite, I didn't think it would be very disruptive, um, but it has been because they've been in the bedrooms and we're not allowed to really go in there. And just having people in the house, I feel like it makes you just feel a bit I don't know, like you, you can't relax properly and you can't really get on with your stuff. So I'm quite excited for that to finish. Um, they said they need one more day tomorrow, but I will be out of the house most of the day tomorrow when I do extra thing. Um, we've got a really early start. We're getting picked up at 8.30 in the morning. So yeah, hopefully I find the dress tomorrow because I don't really want to do m more than one day. Um, I don't want to do too many different dress shops because then I think it becomes really overwhelming and the less options the better for me um so yeah fingers crossed we find the dress tomorrow and our tree it's like it's very tall but it looks a bit sort of skew with um there's kiki the cutting for the wardrobes out there kiki's over there napping bought her a new harness today it's a little bit big but her old one was getting really tatty so yeah house is a little bit Christmassy. I'm gonna wrap some presents tonight I think or try to and put them under. So it's bright and early and we are about to get in the taxi. Woo, can't Head wait. to East London. My phone. My lady. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I think it's so nice having the kitchen roll in the background. Uh, I think the last thing you would have seen is me wedding dress shopping, which was nearly a week ago now. I've kind of been, don't know what I've done this week, but yeah, I um, had such an amazing day wedding dress shopping. It was so fun, and I'm very excited to say I did find the dress. And it's not the dress that I thought I was going to wear at all. Like it was definitely, it was actually something that I said, like, I don't want. When you go into the shop, the wedding dress shop, the shop assistant says, like, what is something that you don't want? And I, and that was one of the things I said. And my mum actually said, why don't you try on that, that dress over there? And I was like, mm. and then I tried it on and I was like, oh my God, this is the dress. So yeah, it's not what I thought I'd end up wearing at all, but I absolutely love it. Um, I'm really excited and like quite relieved that I found it because um, I guess that's one of the hard parts over. Oh, sorry, he keeps biting my foot. Can you not? Um, ow, ow! Stop. So yeah, it was such a fun day. Like I wish I could do it all over again. It was probably one of the best days ever. Just so fun trying on all the dresses and just like such a girly day and so nice to have all the girls there. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited and really happy that I found my dress. It's quite a big moment. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I've had a few messages on Instagram from a few of you girls saying, like, would love to see lots of wedding stuff. So if you comment below anything else you'd like to see, um, I could almost, I could even do like a YouTube uh, Q&A about wedding stuff, um, if that's something that would be of interest. If you enjoyed this one with the bridesmaids brunch and the wedding dress shopping, and I will see you in the next vlog.